Newman, Brian Wilson, Mary Catherine Hamm, today's newsmakers, and you, the morning majority. AM 630. 7 on the morning majority. The Fisher House Radiothon is underway. The number is 202-686-7771. We are taking your donations. Thank you, Nicholas Santelli. Thank you, Kingsley Clausen, for making donations of $1,000. And uh, Cameron Jones, a retired Army Sergeant First Class, donates $1,000, challenges others in the Army to donate. Let's get those uh, those military guys up and at them this morning. By the way, if you say that you you know you support the troops... This is a chance for you to sort of put your money where your mouth is because this is a way you can really support those wounded warriors who come back home and their families. It's a great cause. I 1,000% I stand behind the folks at Fisher House, and you can't really go wrong by making a donation to this very worthy cause. Yeah, we had Montel Williams on last hour. And that was very got, emotional. It got emotional for him because he goes he goes to Walter Reed. says almost once a month he goes there. And seeing those guys and what they're dealing with, uh, many of them without limbs, missing limbs. And, you know, it's amazing is, is how optimistic they are. It's amazing. The, you know, you walk in there and you're kind of like shy and, you know, and right. they're like, hey, come on in. They got smiles on their face and they're more optimistic than you are about yeah. that. And it's just a testament to their will and uh, what they're all about. And it's a chance for you to help them and their families out because it's so difficult for the families, especially around this time of year. And it's a, it's a free place for them to stay. Right. Free places, and it's a beautiful home, and they have their own room, but there are large kitchens and family rooms, so everybody can get together. So if there are twenty, you know, 25 families in one house, they can get together. You know what it's like um, when you're dealing with a loved one who's in the hospital, maybe fighting for their lives or knowing that it's going to be a difficult life ahead for them without maybe an arm or a leg, and you have somebody to talk to because you have other families that are dealing with the same thing. And it, it does help out tremendously. I've, I've seen it firsthand. Yeah. Well, we'll uh, we'll talk more about this throughout the hour, and you have time to make a, your donation call, 202-686-7771. Right now we got to talk about Redskins. Trevor Maddich is standing by on the line. The question ahead is, can the Skins put together two in a row as they face the Mighty Mighty Jets? Trevor, what do you think? Yeah, they could. The, the Mighty Mighty Jets aren't so Mighty Mighty this year. <laughs> yeah. They played in a couple of AFC Championship games recently, but right now, like the 6-5, and five, and their quarterback, Mark Sanchez, has been, you know, making some good plays, but he hasn't been playing great. And when he's under pressure, he actually is quite degraded. So the Redskins do have a chance at this. Well, that would be helpful, wouldn't it, to the season, wouldn't it? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, especially. See, well, I, tell me if you guys didn't forget what it was like to win a football game. Yeah, yeah I had almost Listen, forgotten. You went through so long, it was like you expected another miserable experience, and you didn't even think there was any light at the end of the tunnel, for goodness sake. Not because there wasn't any necessarily, but because they lost so many games in a row. And so, yeah, there, there is a chance, and it's for real. We made a comment from Santana Moss this week. Now, it was pretty obvious that Santana was a Rex Grossman guy from the get-go, but basically saying Rex is our offense right now. Yeah, well, you know, he's kind of right. Uh, <laughs> although Will Hulu Jr. running back has, has really emerged. That's pretty good. But well, I mean, Hulu, Hulu is part of the offense. Yeah, part of it, but he's still, Hulu is not able in the running game with the makeshift offensive line, are not able to be the offense. And right now, the thing about Rex, is that he has not lost his swagger or his confidence. You saw him last week lead this team. You saw him not dump it off so he could get some completions, but rather push it down the field at times when he thought he should. And his receivers really helped him out. And so when you talk about Santana saying that Rex is the offense right now, it's not just a matter of completing passes, which he did. It's a matter of unifying those guys in the huddle as a leader. And you can't do that unless you have some success. And because Rex had that success last week, completed 73% of his passes in a win. And because you combine that with his with his natural leadership anyway, uh, now he's able to step up and lead that team. All right, but um, there are some people who think, well, if Santana Moss could see this and other players the Redskins could see this, why couldn't Mike Shanahan or Kyle Shanahan see this and that it was a mistake to go to John Beck in the first place? I'm in the belief that, hey, you got to figure out what Beck could do because we all know what Grossman could do because we've seen his body of work over a long period of time. But was it a mistake to put uh, Beck in if Grossman is that much better than he is? Well, you know, and that, that's going to be the big question now because all of a sudden – 
they're going to wonder if they just had stuck with Beck to begin with, would they have won some of those games that they lost in that losing mm-hmm. streak? And w- w- my response to that is that we didn't have that information then, or Shanahan did not know they were going into that losing streak. You know, the, they came out of a bye, played poorly against the Eagles. There were four interceptions by Grossman, and it looked for all the world to the coaching staff like they needed a spark, they needed a change, and that's why they made the change, and also to see what Beck could do, because there was some controversy in the front office as to who uh, would be the better guy to go with this year. It wasn't a slam dunk. Now we look back on it with hindsight and think, yeah, they should have stayed with Beck all along. But right now, we have hindsight. Back then, they didn't. If you had to ask me if it was a mistake to make the switch, I would have said no. I would have said that Grossman had had 11 interceptions coming into that, 11 turnovers, and, you know, there was, there was not anything to lose, I thought, to switch to see what Beck could do because Grossman wasn't getting you much anyway uh, from the standpoint of turnovers and managing the game without mistakes. I just want to point out that I was gone for two weeks in the Redskins – unbelievably won a game, and the Georgia Bulldogs are playing for the SEC Championship, so if I would just stop watching football, (laughs) everything might go better for all of us. You should call the Redskins and offer up your services to leave the country. I'll just sign out. (laughs) See you guys. By the way, did you plant the ham flag on the top of Mount Kilimanjaro? I I did, yes. It was was more like throwing up than a flag. (laughs) The DNA is all over Mount Kilimanjaro from what we hear. She left a little piece of her behind. Let's put it that way. Africa is a lovelier place. Exactly. Thank you very much. (laughs) All right, Trev. So what bottom line? Are they going to win this weekend, or what do you think? Yeah, you know, I I think they will. I really do. Really? Stick a dagger in the Jets. All right. Isn't that great? Yeah, the Jets will absolutely come after them. Uh, Coach Ryan, their coach, is an aggressive, defensive guy, and he will blitz, blitz, blitz. But I think the Redskins will be able to have some success against that, do the same thing against Sanchez, and I think it's the Redskins that will come out with a better of that exchange. Do keep in mind that the combination of Brian Arakpo and Ryan Kerrigan leads the NFC in sacks Mm -hmm. as a duo. So the Redskins can put pressure, too. All right. It's great to talk to you as always. We'll do it again on Monday, all right? All right. Talk to you, buddy. Welcome home, Mary Catherine. Thank you very much.